That was a weird World of Warcraft reference to back in the days of Cataclysm. That might have hit home for some of you, or for others it might have been a complete dud. How's it going folks, Jack here with another video. Sorry for, uh, I guess, the subtle cringe there at the beginning, but yeah, we are checking yet another uh, video from the speedrun series for Just Cause 3 by Martin Sidobin. The last one was super hilarious. I'm not too sure if I might be able to provide more uh, Cuban Panamanian crisis lore here, but I'm always in here for a good laugh. Otherwise, without further ado, let's just jump into this. Sponsored by World of Tanks. <laughs> I did it again. A few months ago, I speedran Just Cause 3 to 100% completion. It took me 20 hours, 9 minutes, and 40 seconds. It was very challenging. It was very painful. <laughs> but most importantly, it was very, very slow. So gentlemen, I did it again. This attempt was to try to get 100% in under 18 hours. I had to collect all the collectibles, demolish every single piece of red infrastructure, chop all of these horrible vehicles, restrain myself from murdering and hoisting up the locals as a brutal message to the people of Medici, and do it all in two hours less than last time. I knew this was going to test me, but truthfully, I was not prepared for the level of pain I was about to face. The micro blitz going on in the background. Wake, wake the fuck up, bitch. I love that guy. He's amazing. I wish that I was around New York. There was a performance there that uh, I could have attended. Actually, I decided not to go on vacation because, yeah, sometimes you don't want to travel. But yeah, he, he does those amazing performances. Like, I, there's, I, I'm sorry for rambling a bit too much about him, but there is, um, I think, a live stream that he made in the uh, H3H3 podcast. Yeah, I know. Uh, with um, Flying Lotus. And the other guy who does a, some awesome beatboxing there for um, on TED Talks sometimes even. I can't remember his name for the life of me, but the three of them working together is bliss. It's so much fun. Anyways, if you like that type of electronic music that's very soothing, uh, check that out. Fuck! So, let us begin. Get the fuck out of bed, bitch, go! Boom, 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 boom. We began in the same spot <laughs> as last time. Plane. And then we blah 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 did the first two story missions, finished the Visa Electro military base, the helicopter this time, went to begin the third mission, and the game crashed. This oh. is bound to happen a few times, but 15 minutes in, not good. I started the game up again, and actually started the third mission, where I picked up this moped and delivered it to the garage. Please. <laughs> so, from here, what was the plan? Well, I actually had a plan. One, starting missions. Two, get OP rocket launcher minigun wingsuit thing. Right. Three, liberate every single settlement on the map. Four, do Laguna Bomb Blast, the hardest challenge. Five, do the remaining story missions. Six, do the rest of the challenges, starting from those hard wingsuit courses I failed last time. And seven, collect all vehicles and collectibles. Oh, I was about to say, I think that the wingsuit challenges, as I might have stated in the previous video, are the hardest part about this. But that's just my own preference. Eight, play World, World of tanks. tanks. That's right, boys. <laughs> I've partnered again with Wargaming to tell you to be a tank. Gentlemen, I know you want to kill. I know you crave violence. I know you must satisfy your primal urges. Well, guess what? In World, World of Tanks, tanks you can. <laughs> Command your hot, steamy lump of steel and deliver your offensive rounds directly into the friend. 100 million players, 550 tanks, even including chunk points, 40 battle rings. I can't even count that high. Best of all, it's completely free. And guess what? There's even more. Available now is the G.I. Joe promotional event where you can get this sick looking tank or this sick looking tank from the classic G.I. Joe toy. Offering 30th of June. Look at how good they look. Hit up that first link in the description and enter the code GI Joe 21 to activate the in-game missions and unlock your sick looking tank. Upon collecting 15 tokens, you'll be gifted an additional five to fully outfit your tank. Which will you pick? Green tank that is bulbous. Or red tank that looks really cool. The choice is yours. Still not convinced? You may have something wrong with you. Look at these tanks. They are all hyper realistic. Believe me, I'm a tank. <laughs> Also, free stuff, a T-14 tank, tier 5, 500k credits, and 7 days of premium. What are you waiting for, you fools? Hit up that link and join today. <clears throat> Back to it. Anyway, <laughs> the setup was fairly simple, and so far, all was going well. But, unbeknownst to me, my cat had been plotting against me. My room doesn't. I don't know what is in my room. It smells like poop. Did Before the stream began, he thought oh. it would be greatly helpful if he shat in my room. Well... <laughs> They do that. That's why you always leave the door open. It happened to me on stream once. It was the worst, but I was kind of lucky in that, uh, yeah, it. Fuck sound like that. Beautiful. God. 
I'm sorry if any of you are watching this while eating. I, I, I'm I'm not gonna I'm not gonna continue that phrase. Anyways, <laughs> let's continue. <laughs> Oh, Next mission. What the hell? I drag this guy's boat and this guy into the water at record speed. Unlocked fast travel and fast traveled here. Falco Maximet, the biggest, baddest base on the map. I was here to get the OP wingsuit, which I did. Of, co of course, of course, of course. So far, the run was basically identical to the last one, but once I had finished the OP wingsuit missions, I began on phase two, liberation. I went back to the big base took this thing, aka the shield helicopter, and used it to enact swift justice upon all pieces of infrastructure. That blows up all this the time. This was a good idea, and progress was quickly being made. I liberated this oil rig, this airport, this cool sea base thing, and a oh. few other things before the helicopter finally died 20 minutes later. This was expected, so I went to get another one, and did it again. Then that one died. Dang it. So I tried again, and failed to get it. <laughs> Fuck. Now sure, that is a little annoying, but really, it wasn't that bad. What was bad was this. Mm -hmm. He's gonna do it again. <laughs> He's gonna do it again. <laughs> the whole <laughs> misclicking all the time. That's gonna ruin his run, isn't it? Oh? My computer had completely shit the bed. I started the stream again, and it worked. Hello. I started OBS to record, and it worked. And then, I started Just Cause 3. It's going well so far. Fuck. This wasn't looking good. I started it all up again, asked chat to clasp their hands as hard as possible, and tried again. <laughs> Fuck. Might as well just ask them to raise their hands in the air like were you trying to cast a spirit bomb or something. That might work. I was stressing out, and I seriously considered ending the stream right here. I validated the game files. Nope. I restarted my computer. Nope. I oh, decided fuck. to upgrade my graphics drivers. And it worked! In total, I'd spent 20 minutes fucking around with these technical issues. But surely, the rest of the stream would be fine, right? Right. right. <laughs> oh no. Once we got back in the game, I went to this mining base, stole yet another shield helicopter, and continued on with the liberation. I liberated the mining base, this outpost, this other outpost, this airport, this other outpost, 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 the piss nice. in my bladder, this oil rig, this <laughs> other outpost, and finally this power station before the helicopter finally died. I'd flown so long that I'd given it a name in my head. Jeff. Godspeed, Jeff. Once Jeff had died, <laughs> I resorted back to the more primitive means of liberation. Using guns. Oh. Now check out this gun. The fire leech. Shoot. This is before... Yeah, this has got to be before the uh, Kerbal Space Program videos, right? Because there he had Jeb as well. Well, that explains a bunch of things. One rocket, and it splits into ten rockets, and kills ten things. One of those ten things can even be you. I fucking hit me! <laughs> ah! There was no use being upset though, because a little while later, I found this. Shit. Holy shit, guys. Holy Boat shit. Plane. Did you see that? <laughs> but then, on cue. No. Ten minutes later, we finished the entire left island and were making good progress on liberation. But I was getting a little hungry, so I switched to the food screen and made myself some spaghetti. Okay, I'm gonna ask, is he multi-streaming? That might be an answer. Because if he has if he has nothing to do with the game itself, as he had verified the files and restarted his PC, even upgraded the graphics card and everything, then he has got to be with the streaming software. Multi-streaming tends to be a huge causal problem for that, at least if he does. But this is Twitch. I think it's only recently that he started streaming on YouTube, isn't it? With the Masuma car runs. I could be mistaken about this. Back to the game, we were still making good progress. <laughs> Back in the game, we were making good progress, and almost every single settlement had been liberated. I then stumbled across Laguna de Sol and the hardest challenge in the game, Laguna Bomb Blast. Last run it took me 15 minutes to beat, and that was after quite a lot of practice. Oof. As you can imagine, I expected it would take quite a bit of time to complete. What I did not expect was to do this. Alright, here comes the strat, alright? Here comes the strat. You ready? Oh. It's that easy, boys! It's that easy! Pug. First try! <laughs> Holy shit! Now that is the stuff. Back to Liberation, we began on the Stingray area. Destroyed the first base, 
And then, my computer completely shit itself, and died. No. <laughs> Nevertheless, we continued, and within 20 minutes, the Stingray area had been liberated. Another 30 minutes after that, and the whole map had been liberated. Nice. From here on, we can begin on Phase 5. Oof. The story missions. Up first was destroying the smooth brain generators from the last run. Now why did I call them this? Well last time, I suffered a fairly substantial smooth brain moment and lost several minutes trying to destroy them. But this time, would be different. This fire elite should be able to one hit these things. These fucking, the smooth brain no, moment generators. No, no, please. Oh, I was so afraid that he was going to do that, just like he did with the drone before. <laughs> there are moments where even certain shortcuts should not be taken. <laughs> Good job, Mart. <laughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> to redeem myself, we moved on to the next mission oh, of Cows and Wine. Last run, I failed this mission several times, but this run was big brain time. I called in this helicopter, flew it just above the truck filled with wine barrels, attached it at very precise points, and slowly and carefully flew it to the end point of the mission, Ooh. without spilling any wine. Wrinkles in My the brain. brain was wrinkling. <laughs> Next up yeah. was the mech suit stuff on good old Piss Island. Not much to say here. We started, got the gun that sounds like yeah. Liberated the settlements, did the challenges, made sure to shoot down this annoying big plane every time so no parachuters came out, and finished the story missions. All told, it was done in about an hour. I then finished these hard wingsuit courses and began on the next story mission, where I found this. Look at this, it's a helicopter. Wait a minute. Wait a minute, guys. Got a boat. I think I just found something, guys. Next mission was fairly uneventful, <laughs> except for this guy. <laughs> Seeing as we had liberated the Stingray area, now it was time to do the missions there. So the first thing we did was intercept this big plane, shoot this container out of it, and there it was. This boat. I got oh, in the boat, fuck. and then I did this. Oh, no, I thought no, no, for no, no, an no, no, instant no, no, no. that the gamer crashed again. Oh! To ease my pain, I found another one of these. Boys. Gentlemen. <laughs> so really, it was all worth it. Helly we bolt. then did the Eden Spark mission, went into the big base in the middle, yoinked the Eden Spark, did the challenges, and collected the shitty tapes. The Stingray area was complete. Next mission was car standing. Where you stand mm, on a car. car. <laughs> yeah! Once we had completed our car standing business, we moved on to oh, the game crashed yet again. But I was hungry, so I took the opportunity and ate some more spaghetti. <laughs> Back to the speed run, where Rico was doing some real operator stuff, like getting run over by a train. Rico, don't get run <laughs> over by the train. Rico. <laughs> Thank you, Rico. The missions were being completed at a rapid pace. Next mission involved this big plane and defending it from small naughty planes. So I got on a plane of my own and shot the other planes down with its gun. Problem was, I could shoot at the big plane that I was supposed to be defending and doing so did heaps of damage. Yeah. But somehow, we clutched it out and completed the mission with 1 HP remaining. Wow. Hell yeah. Wow. Up next were the rest of the challenges and collectibles. Most collectibles are easy. They even have a mark on the map for their location. But some are quite challenging. Our next monumental challenge was this. The lake boat. To collect this boat, we need to deliver it to one of the garages on the map. Trouble is, it happens to be in a lake with no route to said garage. Not you good. Lift it My up. first attempt was to use a helicopter. But I realized I only had two tethers and it would be a waste of time. So I quickly moved on to attempt two. Why? With a mech suit. Which ended after about 30 seconds, like this. Uh, yeah. Did I just destroy it? Yeah. Are you fucking serious, man? Oh, the boat has to be fucky, doesn't it? It wouldn't be the fucky boat if it wasn't fucky! Uh, this was very annoying. So I forgot Look, even in Just Cause 4, despite the improvement in certain aspects of the gameplay, which of course I know, one of the quick mentions will be that liberations are not what they used to be. But this time you actually liberate people. But regardless of that, uh, the mech that you tend to use are only good for destructions, they do nothing else than that. What about it? Instead, I went to a mining site and collected the mining dump truck. On the route to the nearest garage, the truck needed to cross a train track. Best thing ever. And what ever. do train tracks have on them? Trains. Right. <laughs> I delivered the truck <laughs> and went back to the fucky boat for attempt number three. For attempt three, I wanted to try with a helicopter again, but I needed to unlock more tethers. You do this by completing the Scrapyard Scramble Challenges 
Which I did. With a little difficulty. Please don't. Are you serious, man? Are you serious? Once the tethers were unlocked, it was time to try again. I dropped in a helicopter, attached the boat with six tethers, and slowly flew it a kilometer and a half to the closest garage. Noise. Oh, please. Please don't smash it. Fuck! I'm going insane. I'm going insane. It was on it. It was fucking on it. Ah! Well, at least you get to deliver a car. <laughs> to console me, I checked the progress, and we were at the funny number. Nice. 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 A few minutes later, I tried again. This would be attempt number four, and for attempt number four, I would use a mech suit again. I slowly worked my way up the hill, made it into the town, got to the garage, and then... Dude, just put it slowly down with the heli. <laughs> ha! <laughs> <laughs> I am going to get a deep vein prognosis. Attempt five. I'd use the helicopter again and fly it a little further to this water garage. So I dropped in the heli, picked up the boat, flew it for five minutes to the water garage, and finally. <gasps> Ah. Perfect. Let's fucking go! The deed was done. In total, this little bastard had cost me about 30 minutes. Ooh. Once we had finally delivered the fucky boat, it was time to complete some challenges. I did this crash bomb with a monster truck. I failed a few attempts because of these annoying trains, but after a few attempts, the Kraken was on my side. <laughs> what? <laughs> and we're good. I was zooming through some of the land race challenges in my Formula 1 car. When I dropped down this ramp, and nothing happened. No, 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 no. No one saw anything. Next challenge was this frenzy. I got into a helicopter and made a classic lumberjack mistake. No. Oh, oh, oh no. That's a battlefield takedown right there. <laughs> All was going well. Too well. Of course. This time, the game didn't crash, but both the YouTube and Twitch streams did. <gasps> At nearly 13 hours in, the last thing I wanted to do was deal with yet more technical problems, but I wasn't so lucky. I paused the game to investigate, but nothing seemed to be wrong. Streamlabs said I was streaming, my internet was doing just fine, and my computer was okay. But I was... alone. Was this it? Was the run doomed? It's... oh, he's using Streamlabs. Just use OBS, dude. I, I know. I switched completely to just using OBS now. It has much less strain on your PC, and it's it's just simpler it, and and better, I will presume, because I haven't had any crashes from this. Um, unlike what I used to experience when I was uh, streaming exclusively on Twitch. Would I ever finish? Would I ever escape? As almost all hope was lost, the chat messages returned. The stream was back, baby! Only to die again two minutes later. I found the problem was to do with multi-streaming to both YouTube and Twitch. There we so go. So I made the decision, shut off the stream, cut off YouTube, and continued the journey only on Twitch. All these technical problems made me want to slam my head into a wall. But I didn't need to do it myself, because I had Rico, and he could do it for me. <laughs> this is me. This is just how I feel at this current moment. <laughs> what I had to do now was find parts, shrines, tapes, and pieces of dirt. Something that is quite absent-minded. So absent-minded. Oh, uh. I was... Oh, I was feeling sleepy. Ah! Ah, it's alright, guys. Oh, I'm the just, donations. Oh. <laughs> ah! <laughs> oh, for fuck's sake! I wasn't doing great. From the loud noises, to the stream difficulties, and... You. Fuck you. I was stressed. Especially because I had a time to beat. God, I, I have a certain, like, uh, I don't know, level of envy when it comes to this, because I, I'm, I'm narcoleptic, so, like, I can muster to a certain degree streaming for a long time. I've done an eight-hour stream. I was baffled. That was during the Game Awards. I, I did not know that I was able to do something like that, but the positive part of it was that I was in constant communication, and I was stimulating my brain all the time. As quickly... As I stop doing that, 
the fog sets in and my brain shuts down and it's sleepy time or <clears throat> time for bed. <laughs> I really, I, I, I can't, uh, I can't do that. That's also why it takes me some time, a long time to continue or uh, complete a game. It really sucks. So yeah, speedrunners are like uh, absolutely amazing for me to watch. And that time was rapidly approaching. So far though, I was on pace. And who else arrived to boost my spirits but Bella Clava Boy. Three minutes later, Oof. and I met another old friend. Another stunt jump ramp, another chance at Balaclava Boy. But this time, it was Bandana Boy instead. <laughs> Sup, Bandana Boy? Goodbye, Bandana Boy. I then boy. stumbled upon this very suspicious looking group oh, yeah. hanging out in the forest. Why are they looking at me? <laughs> I don't like that vibe. <laughs> Fixed. Half an hour later, <laughs> Red I was closing in on the final few pieces. But some anxiety was setting in about finding the last remaining vehicles. Until then, though, I still had some things to collect, so I collected them instead. One of which I thought was this truck. This so I steered into it to try to get it to stop, and did this. No. <laughs> but of course. Then we did a few more stunt jumps and met the rest of the cast. We've got Balaclava Boy, the classic, Beret Boy, <laughs> Hoodie Guy, Hard Hat Henry, and my favorite, Helmet Harold. <laughs> it's Helmet Harold. What's up, Helmet Harold? At close to 17 hours, I did the final stunt jump. It turned out from here, there are only two vehicles left to collect, and one of them I could find by doing this particular race. So I started the race, quit the challenge, opened the map to mark the garage, and did this. No, 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 no. <sighs> here we go. Ah! Ah! Oh no. I actually chopped that car, and then was left with the very last item. The real final boss of Just Cause 3. The semi-truck. We were 17 hours in, and the faster I found this truck, the sooner the pain would end. Almost but little done. did I know, the pain was only just beginning. I began the search by asking Twitch chat for where it could be. <laughs> While chat did their research, I went up and down the main road looking for it. Chat got back to me with a lot of mixed information. Coordinates that I found very hard to read, <laughs> directions that were impossible to follow, and tips that just made no sense. Yeah, after 17 hours of gameplay, I will understand that it's difficult to even <laughs> understand what the hell is going on on the screen. Uh, oh, and he still has the story missions to complete. Jesus Christ. They kept saying I'd seen one, when I most definitely had not. But they did give me some actual suggestions. A few spots around here, there are some farmhouses that can supposedly spawn it. I checked them, and no truck. The truck can spawn on the side of the road. I searched up and down the roads of Medici. No truck. In the town Babica, it can spawn near construction sites. I checked them. No truck. Ten minutes passed. The pain was building. I had spent 17 hours on this run, gaining a very large amount of time from the previous. Was it all for nothing? Was I doomed to search for this truck for the next few hours? I hoped not. Another few minutes passed. I rechecked the supposed spawning locations. No truck. The longer it went on, the more pain I felt. Every time I fast traveled, I read chat. <laughs> they were not really helping. The pain Oof. was building. The bread was building. I found some building. locations that other trucks could spawn and tried resetting their spawns over and over with fast travel. <laughs> it wasn't working. The pain was building. I checked the wiki myself and found that sometimes it can spawn near gas stations. I checked a few gas stations. No truck. The pain was building. The wiki also has some coordinates where it could be found. But in my stressed out, sleep deprived state, these were more or less completely useless. Another 10 minutes had passed, and no truck had been found. The pain was building. <laughs> At this point, you could hear the pain in my voice. This doesn't feel good, I'll tell you that. I'll tell you that. This feels real bad. <sighs> Chat made suggestions. I checked the suggestions. No truck. Fuck. The pain increased. <laughs> and repeat. Not only was this incredibly painful, but 4,000 people were here to see it live. A few minutes later, I was genuinely starting to feel sick. But I had a bright idea. To restart the game. I would pause the timer and allow myself some time to think. And of course, to piss. <laughs> the game had loaded up, my bladder had been emptied, and I felt a bit better. Oh, the, the alleviation and clar clarity you get after emptying your bladder. Whew. <laughs> so, we continued on the hunt. I got in a car with the intention of driving up and down until I found it. I checked the map, however, and saw I was close to Babico once again, so I hopped out and went to investigate. 
The first construction site yielded nothing. But near the second construction site mm. was this. Oh, 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 oh. Where? There it is. <gasps> Holy shit. Holy shit. All I had to do next was open the map, mark the garage. No, 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 no. And drive it 100 meters down the road. Gentlemen, we had done it. All that was left was to beat the final boss. So I traveled to the start of the mission, flew the jet into the volcano, and began the final boss fight. Which right, is basically this. just um, Red Alert 3. And then the we hit landing. him with the pot! Get fucked! Let's go! Holy wow. shit! Boys, it was done. That was clean. The final time was 17 hours, 43 minutes, I'm clicking. and 40 I'm seconds. Clicking. There it is. I'm clicking. BAM! An improvement of 2 hours and 26 minutes. That's amazing. Now gentlemen, since the last video and this run, no one else has submitted a 100% all DLC run to the leaderboard. Many, many people have said they will, but they haven't. The leaderboard is just me. So how about, instead of telling me you'll beat it, go out there and actually beat it. Stream it on Twitch, enable VOD saving, and submit the run. Even if you don't beat my time, <laughs> submit it. I assure you, it will give my ego a big boost. <laughs> and if you do beat my time, just maybe, I'll have to do it again. Thanks again to World of Tanks. Till next time. Well, given that there is a third video, I suppose that he did it again as it was beaten. Man, you know what? If he ever does a Just Cause 4 speed run, I'ma beat it. <laughs> <laughs> Guaranteed. Anyways, guys, thank you so much for checking out this video. This was hella fun. Oh, I cannot imagine the pain of going through that. And staying awake, well, at least for me, is the most baffling thing about this. But either ways, guys, thank you so much for checking this out. Please do make sure to go and subscribe to mods. And of course, if you like this video, don't forget to hit the like button. That being said, we should also have a wonderful day. See you guys in the next one. Bye.